Welcome to World at Work TV. I'm Allison Avalos, and I'm joined today by Amy Robertson from Red Hat and Steve Geyer from Mercer. And their two companies recently partnered in working on a new differentiated total reward strategy that we'd like to talk about today. So Amy, why did Red Hat look to differentiate your reward strategy? Well, Red Hat has evolved from a single product company to a multi-solution and service company. With that change in diversifying products, comes a change in our talent pool and the demand for the attraction and retention of different types of associates. We also had the added complexity of a rapidly growing workforce and expanding into new countries and geographies to deal with. So briefly, what is it to have a differentiated reward strategy? So when you have a differentiated reward strategy, you're knowingly differentiating between maybe a business or uh, different talent needs within the organization. So it's not a one-size-fits-all uh, approach. It's more you know, specifically looking at um, areas within the organization and devising approaches that make sense for that part of the business. Okay, I think that's a good point of clarification because oftentimes we hear the word differentiation, we tend to think about performance. And so what you're getting at, there are other ways to look at your workforce and, and ways to break it up. Is there a particular process that you followed in terms of differentiating your reward strategy, Amy? The foundation of building our strategy was really incorporating open source principles into our project plan. An open source principle uh, allows us to facilitate a collaborative, transparent decision-making process. Uh, when you think of open source principles, you typically think of open source software development. Uh, in our case, we try to apply those open source principles in everything we do and, and operate at Red Hat because it's part of our culture. So for example, uh, an open and collaborative process means that we're having a shared innovation. We're building on the ideas of one another, we're jointly solving problems, we're gathering feedback uh, and multiple perspectives. We're also letting the best ideas win. That's another open source principle called meritocracy. We believe in that and we believe that the best ideas are born out of a process. And one other additional uh, principle we applied that was an open source principle was the release early, release often approach. What that really means is you take smaller, more iterative solutions to a problem rather than let's say a big bang approach so that your solutions can build towards a bigger a bigger solution for a problem. So it sounds like this approach was the natural choice uh, for Red Hat and in working with Red Hat. Yep. Is that correct, Steve? Yes. That aligned actually very well with our typical approach, which is gathering multiple perspectives. We look at four primary areas, which are the employer view, which is what does the company need? What is it strategically, does it, where does it want to go? And this is usually gathered through uh, executive interviews and, and things like that. Then you have the employee view, which you'll gather through employee sensing data, so opinion surveys, engagement survey, and the data, data mining of that information. Then you have the market perspective. So the market perspective will consist of survey information of market best practice. Finally, you have the cost perspective. That's probably the most important perspective of the four because you have to, at the end of the day, you have to determine whether or not the company can afford the approach that you're, that you're proposing. So Amy, were there any notable hurdles along the way and how did you respond to those? One of the significant hurdles, I think, was when we worked with Mercer on preparing for our executive and senior leadership interviews. We really needed to think through what were the right questions to ask in order to get the feedback we needed to craft our differentiated approach. Total rewards means many things to many companies. Uh, it's usually the combination of compensation, benefits, work life, and career components, but depending on the organization, you may only focus on one, two, or three of those, or maybe all of them. So one of the key pieces to our project was to make sure that we were asking the right questions of the business to get the feedback that we needed that would be relevant to developing our approach. So what are some of the key takeaways now having been through this, Amy? Well, we had three key takeaways. One was incorporating multiple perspectives, which we really talked about in our open source question. Segmentation and implementation. From a segmentation perspective, organizations will tend to look at jobs differently and they may focus on 
one or two factors. It might be you know, the type of job or the level of the job or the geography. Those are pretty basic. In developing Red Hat's approach, we really used a process which took into account multiple factors. So we looked at the type of role, whether it was a technical job or a non-technical job, the location with the job is, is you know, doing, the, doing the work, and then also the business unit that it's attached to. So it, w it went beyond just looking at one or two factors, but a combination thereof that would help us pinpoint whether we're targeting the market 50th, 65th, or 75th percentile. So what ultimately what we were trying to do is figure, figure out what the right combination of factors would be to put our best foot forward in the market and put together a competitive package for talent attraction and retention. So what does this new strategy now mean for your company going forward? Well, I, th I think the new strategy means that we're in a position to win. And uh, from a people perspective, winning at Red Hat means we're the place where the most passionate, creative people in our industry come together to make a difference. And by using a broader approach or broader definition to total rewards, we believe that we'll be able to provide the best associate experience uh, to all of our talent. Thank you both for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank you. For World at Work, I'm Allison Avalos.